need water in Florida, bud. Olivia and Grandpa have the garbage. It's their duty to drop it off before we go and to not fall off the bed of the truck. Today is our very last hoorah before we head home and I'm a little sad about it. I'm not gonna lie, time has gone by so fast. But we came here for lunch the other day and it was so good that we were like, we have to stop here again. It's an hour out of the way, but this little spot, I mean, it's incredible. I saw the flashes in the dark Colors on the wall Right against the monochrome Where I felt so small I drew the curtains up Pulled away the blinds Heard a rushing wind Through the windows of my mind This is the campsite that we tried getting to stay at Because this one, you can see the ocean from but we weren't able to get in here, so maybe another time. Well, we definitely don't want to say goodbye. <laughs> I wish you guys could get in here. I wish we could stay. This is what I really thought. I know. In the golden gaze of the mighty eye. Dum, dum, dum. Tiny little clompers coming out. Oh my word! Look, if it look. clomps at me, put it right here, mom. Put it right here. So it oh, he just got scared. Will this pinch me? Oh, he's coming out. Joel, does this pinch? <laughs> no, he came out pretty far. kids are so sad to leave their friends. We've had the best Dude. time. Okay, that goodbye was a little harder than I thought it was going to be. I mean, that was not fun to say goodbye to our friends. Gosh, that felt so good. It probably wouldn't have been. It's been such a journey getting out here. Like, yeah. That was ideal getting out here. We played for two weeks. Well, we've had our sites all planned for a year. Oh, yeah. We I mean, you have year, to book your sites at least a year. I mean, that's probably the soonest you can do it is a year, but. 11 months. <sighs> now we've got a seven day trek home tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we'll get a good night's rest tonight and then get back on the road. Mm, I don't want to go. I don't want to go up. It is our last night staying in the Florida Keys. We're getting ready for a movie night. This is kind of our common scene for the night. They're going to watch a movie and Joel is going to edit. Joel, correct me if I'm wrong, but every trip we have gone on, we've gone through RV share. Is that right? Every single one. Every single trip that we have gone on. And we've gone on a lot. So if you have not caught up on our RV travels, there is a link in the description for all of our RV videos. However... I wanted to remind you what RV share was if you're not familiar with it. 
if you own an RV, you can upload it to RV Share and people can rent from you. Or if you want to rent some type of an RV, and they have all different kinds. They have like motorhomes, hitch poles, gooseneck trailers, all different kinds of ones. But if you want to rent one, you can get on, find one in your area. For us, the reason that we always rent is because we don't know what we want to buy yet. So we like to try a bunch of different RVs. If you're slightly interested in doing a trip like this, but you've never gone on one and you don't even know if you would like doing it, I would never go buy one on my own unless I knew it was something that we wanted to do. That's kind of how we got started. We used one, we rented one to see if we liked it, and we kind of wanted to see how often we would use it. Now that we have gone on plenty of trips and we know we love it, I'm definitely interested in purchasing one for ourselves, and we've even talked about, okay, well, if we do purchase one, would we put it on RV share so people could rent it from us? I don't know. There's a lot of different options. I will leave their link in the description below if you guys want to check it out. And I want to say thank you to RV share for partnering with us on this video. I got nothing to worry about when you're by my side.